All right, so here's the first part of the series, the uh, $500 Mojave series. Just picked this up from a guy last night. Um, he listed it for a thousand bucks and he said it was running. I got there and it wasn't. Uh, he seemed pretty legit that it did run, but they just couldn't get it started for some reason. And I have the suspicion that it will because first of all, the gas was off and he didn't know it. Um, second, the tires are on backwards and it was actually scraping the inner wheel. So for someone to do that, you know, they must be not knowing too much. Then also I checked the oil and it looks fairly low. So I have a suspicion that he just didn't really understand what was going on with this thing. Hopefully that means he didn't romp on it too much, but as you can see, it looks in good shape. The seat has a little rip. Um, the clutch lever is broken and also the brake doesn't seem to do anything. So hopefully that's just fluid, but we'll see. But for 500 bucks, I'm pretty happy with the purchase. I talked them down from a thousand to 500. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna tear it apart, clean it first and then go from there. Okay, so I went to go jack up the um, the bike and uh, or the quad and I shook the axle to see if there's any play. It was pretty tight, but this one, I saw some wiggles. So I'm like, what's going on here? They didn't tighten this bolt all the way. They went right through the pin here. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to th put that back. I really hope this isn't one of those things where they, uh, you know, they tried their magic touch because so far it's not looking too hot. But um, I also try to get these off and they're on pretty good. So I'm gonna take the torch to it and uh, see how it goes. All right, so I uh, took my uh, persuader, which is a six inch pipe. And uh, I'm just going around each lug now getting that leverage on it and they're breaking free so I guess by hand they feel pretty tight but in all reality they're not that bad but we'll see and then that should be able to come off with the impact and then while it's on the ground, I'm gonna see if I could, if I have a socket big enough for that. Come on, let's see if you'll see. Too small. The biggest one I have is an inch. That's gonna be bigger than an inch, so I guess we'll tackle that beast when I get another socket. I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, so I ended up not having a, uh, a uh, right size socket for that, so I either need to go buy one or I'm going to try to wrench, like a big wrench. If not, I'll just buy it, but I guess that's the least of my worries right now, so I'll take that off. I wish I had an impact wrench, but... I just never had a use for it because I've always just used my little M12 or M18 impact. So, yeah, there's just a little play, but I think that's okay. There's no play in the actual thing itself. So, let me probably torch it up here. Torch it up. The metal uh, gets hot, but it can a little bit. I wish I had map gas, but it's all in there. I'm trying to heat it up. I need to tighten it. I don't have a socket for it. Let's see. Oh, shit. That was easier than I thought. Hopefully that means... Holy fucking tamale. Um... Wait, what the fuck's going on here? Right, tight, left, loose. Okay. Is this 
not the right size. Is it? No, it is. That was loose. You know that was loose. Yeah, they, I don't know what the fuck they did here. Um. Well, it doesn't want to tighten. That's time to get something. I don't know what's going on here. It's still hot. Yeah, it's so hot. I gotta wait a yeah. second. Yeah. I torched it. I don't know why. It feels better. It's just not tight. Yeah, it's so weird. I wonder if that's not the right size. Fuck. So I put the wrong size of the on the fucking thing. Ow. Let me see. It's hard to believe that. A little rusty dusty in there, but let's see what the other side says. Oh, they have a totally different nut on there. Oh, that's fucking nut sacks. What assholes. <laughs> I wonder if this guy did it. Probably. So all you gotta do is put, get one like that, I guess. Yeah. Alright, so that's one thing I gotta do. I could do that with the tire on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, pretty sure. Well, why is this one so fucked up? I wonder if it's... I need that washer, fuck. Oh, now it wants to go. Well, I took that washer off. Maybe that was... Well, I probably gotta fix that down the line. As long as it's not a huge problem for me unless I'll keep this. Well, that's not a good sign, but this fucking crackhead son of a shit. Tires have a lot of tread on them. Wait, so which one do I put? That's how it's supposed to be. I need to get a bigger socket too. I don't have a socket for that thing. You don't? No, it's like one and a quarter or something. I need an extension.
is a little movie. Uh, now I gotta do the other side. Oh, fuck these guys. All right, so I got that tire situation situated. I'm gonna need to get a new uh, bolt for that. But it's not a big problem. So now I'm just gonna take off some plastics and we'll really. See what's going on underneath. Here's one. Once I take it off, I'll re-thread it in there just so I have it. So here's the original tool set, that's cool. Has a couple grease fittings in the back here. I honestly did not expect that was gonna be there. So, that's a plus. Very shocked to see that. So, Checking it over. A couple things. I mean, it's really not bad. Once I clean it up, I think we'll be in good shape. So that's a good sign. Let me take uh, this front cover off. I mean, it is. Um, the frame is painted over from factory, but I think I don't think it's like in bad shape. There's some rust, but that's to be expected. Allen key. That's Allen key, that's Phillips. Oh god, they're all over the place. Alright, let me go get some other tools. Alright, so just cutting in for a minute. I took all the plastics off. Um, there were a lot of missing bolts, and there were a lot of bolts that were not the right kind, you know, Phillips and all these different contraptions. So, right off the bat, that tells me they worked on it before. It's also missing some kind of breather or something, so I gotta see what that's about. I'll show you here. I'm not really sure what that does. I gotta look into it, but it's missing a hose. Probably means something, so yeah. I'll get back. Okay, so while I'm uh, airing up my compressor, show you a couple things. Let's just say compressor. Here's the spark plug. There's a lot of grime in there, so I'm gonna blow it out with the compressor before I open it, just so nothing falls in the engine. Second thing is, I'm looking at the carb here. When the choke lever says it's on, it really doesn't activate anything. Uh, I'll activate it right now. So it's, it moves, but it's not moving the carb. I mean the uh, the choke. So that could be good because we thought we've been choking it the whole time we haven't. That could be one of the reasons why it's not starting in combination. Uh, you know, just like a dirty carb, those two will definitely do it. The other thing is, I'm looking on the other side, as I showed you before. And this has nothing going to it. I'm not quite sure what it does. I'm gonna have to look into it. I don't know if it's just a breather where the hose just extends it out a little further, but I gotta figure that out. It has the inlet going in the bottom, so that's a good sign. Yeah, so I'm basically just gonna clean it all up before I do anything else. Looking at the electrical, it doesn't look like anything was spliced in or anything, so that's a good sign. 
that they didn't mess with electrical. Honestly, although there is some, you know, sketchy things going on so far, I think I have hope for this bike just because I'm looking at the inside and besides that missing hose, everything just looks dirty and grimy and nothing looks like clean as in they changed it or tried to fix it. So let's hope that's the case. Um, here's the choke. See, it's barely even moving. It just moves like maybe a quarter of the way. And then here's the broken clutch lever. It does inside broke there. So I'll have to order one of those and everything else, but we'll see. All right, so I just took it out. It looks pretty fouled. I don't know if you can see. Um, so it's gonna be hard to put on camera. I'm gonna see if there's spark. I did order a tune-up kit the other day. It's coming in the next like week. You know, oil filters, plugs, everything I'd really need. So I'm just gonna see if it has spark so that, you know, I know what I have to work on this week if it doesn't, so. We'll see. All right, so you probably won't be able to see, but it's worth the shot. I'm gonna kick it over and slide, so wish me luck. Um, yeah, you're definitely not gonna be able to see, but whatever. This is gonna be actually pretty fucking difficult with one person. Uh, well, maybe it would help if I put the key in. Alright, that should be on. I'm not even going to record this because you can't see anything. Okay, so quick update. I determined that we do have spark. Uh, a good amount of it or how fucked up that plug is, but... Excuse my language. Once I get a new plug in there, we'll have more than enough spark to get this thing going, so I'm happy about that. So now I'm gonna clean around the carb, take the carb out, clean it up. I think that's our next easiest step. So I'll show you when I get that out. Okay, so just a quick update. Keep your toothbrushes for cleaning carbs, they're amazing. But I just blasted all the dirt off the carb, it looks pretty good. I have to make it run to Home Depot to get more carb cleaner before I dig into it though, so. All right, so I cleaned the carb out now. Next step is to clean the plastic. So I did a couple parts, I'll show you what I do. I use a mean green super strength and just hose and then a uh, scrubber over there. All right, so I was filming a video of me uh, cleaning this, but uh, there was a heat warning on my phone. So what I did was basically took a wipe some heavy duty wipes and wiped off the engine top. And down here I put engine degreaser. We're about seven minutes into the recommended 10 to 15 minutes. So I never tried this before. I'm gonna see how it looks. Um, basically since you were gone, I just cleaned the carb. Um, I ended up fixing the clutch cable. If you see, it's moving now. I think all that happened was it was just super seized up. There was water in there. So I poured half a bottle of PB blast down there and it loosened up. Then, um, so yeah, it's looking good. The only thing I wasn't able to do was this choke cable. I don't know what's going on with that. I might try to put PB Blast down there too, but I feel like it has something to do with inside the carburetor or it's being stuck. I gotta figure that out because that's essential. But I cleaned all the parts. Let me go over here. Cleaned the gas tank out. Cleaned it inside and out as well as that plastic there. The other plastics were fine. I'm just gonna wipe them down with some wipes. But I'm gonna put some fresh fuel in the next clip in the tank. And then uh, I'm gonna see if it runs. Because theoretically, now the clutch cable is done. As long as it starts up, we should be good to go. Hopefully. Um, the oil level I'm looking at it now is about half. I don't know if you can see that right there. It looks dark though, so. Um, if it does run, I'm not gonna ride it too much because you know I don't know what kind of condition it's in other than that's looking around the front brake doesn't work but I'm pretty sure it's just fluids I need to look for the reservoir but there's just no action in these brakes at least they're not seized up but then now like you can see like the engine like obviously my wiping skills like I couldn't get in there I couldn't like get around the bolts well I could I just didn't the car looks super clean see it's turning like purple so I'm gonna spray it off like now, cause it's hot, so I'll see you then. All right, so 
I just had to cut out because I realized it was super hot and it was all drying up, so I wanted to get it off. But honestly, I'm super impressed. Like, honestly, if you slap this engine into a, a different frame, you would probably think it's fucking brand new. I mean, I didn't even scrub it. I just washed it with the hose after I did that. And like, look at that. The other side's like pretty good too. I don't know if you remember, like this before was like pink. I don't know if you can see in the video before. It turned totally bright red. Um, same with this side. I mean, the top has just some basic corrosion, but like, I'm gonna wipe off the hose. Yeah, that hose came out nice. I'm gonna do the same to the east. And like, honestly, I'm really impressed with that product. So let me show you. It's just the PB Blast engine degreaser. Good stuff. So I'll see when I put fresh gas in the tank. Serves. I'm pretty sure that's new stuff. Wait, what? Huh? What is it? I said I'm pretty sure that's new stuff. Oh, cool. So you just saw in that last clip it ran after like five or six kicks it turned over i've been riding for the past like 30 minutes i didn't want to go too hard because that oil but i put most of the plastics back on it rips all the lights work all the gears seem to work um yeah pretty excited about it i gotta fix that wheel because i do feel it when i i probably went at least 40 i felt it move and the chain i might get a new one just because you know when i go out i don't want to fuck it up break it but yeah, super happy with it. After I cleaned it, super clean. Look at that. So this thing's mint. The engine's a little discolored because I tried to put wipes on it, but that'll all come out. And yeah, super nice. That was a, I'm not gonna say anything, but that was pretty good, went smooth. Now it says upgrades and some maintenance. So I'll see you when I get the uh, maintenance kit and we'll do all that.